Here's a plan that takes the idea of a citizen's arrest to another level. An understaffed New Mexico Police Department is hoping armed civilians can help fill in the gaps. Here's News 13's Francesca Washington. At Radar's Barber Shop in downtown Berlin. There's lots of people that are think could be good candidates for it. Patrons are hopeful their community is about to get safer. It's still going to make a change, guaranteed. This comes after Berlin Police Chief James Harris announced on Facebook he's hoping to restart the department's reserve officer program. That was our primary goal was to get uh, to get our our manpower back up. The reserve force is made up of civilian volunteers working side by side with officers. They would have to have uh, use of force training, uh, defensive tactics trainings, and firearms training. Keeping officers has been a long time struggle for the department. Last November, state police had to step in to pick up the slack. When you have a small department such as Berlin, uh, being short five officers is pretty significant. Some locals feel an armed volunteer unit is only a temporary solution. I really believe that we need more officers, but in the meanwhile, if we wouldn't depend on it all the time, is I think it's, it's good that more people get involved. Chief Harris believes it could lead to a fully staffed department. If we get more people that apply for those positions, those positions can move into full-time positions as well. So it's a recruiting tool that is outstanding for us. Now, not just anyone can sign up for the program. You have to be at least 21 years old and go through an extensive background check. For Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. The department ended its last program back in 2007. Right now, they have 16 officers with eight open positions.